These are two blue lantern slides that captured the bottom of a small stream. May. Two young crabs were talking at the bottom of the bluish-green water. Karamuban Clam Bon laughed. Karamuban Kapu Kapu Splash Splash laughed. Karamuban Hananet jumped and laughed. Karamuban Kapu Kapu laughed. The upper and lateral parts appear dark and bluish like steel. Small dark bubbles flow along the smooth ceiling. Karamuban was laughing. Karamuban Kapu Kapu laughed. Then why did Karamuban laugh? I don't know. Bubbles continue to flow. The crab children also coughed out five or six bubbles. They trembled shining like mercury and rose diagonally towards the upper part. Turning its silver-colored belly a fish passed over their heads. Karamuban died. Karamuban was killed. Karamuban is dead. Killed. Then why was he killed? The older crab placed two of its four right legs on its younger brother's flat head and spoke. I don't know. The fish returned downstream. Karamuban laughed. He laughed. Suddenly it brightened up and golden sunlight fell into the water like a dream. The net of light from the waves swayed and contracted on the white rock on the bottom. Straight shadowy sticks emerged from the bubbles and small debris standing diagonally in the water. The fish completely disrupted the scattered golden light and in addition turned an iron color strangely clinging to the bottom and ascended upstream again. Why does the fish keep going back and forth like that? The younger crab asked while moving its eyes as if it was dazzled because it's doing something bad stealing. Stealing. Yes. The fish returned from upstream again this time calmly. It drifted in the water with its fins and tail motionless its mouth forming a circle like a ring. Its shadow slipped silently over the net of golden light on the bottom. The fish. At that moment suddenly white bubbles formed on the ceiling and a bluish object like a shining cannonball suddenly flew in. The older crab clearly saw that the tip of that blue thing was as black and sharp as a compass. While thinking about it the fish's white belly flashed seemed to turn over once and rose towards the upper part. But after that neither the blue object nor the shape of the fish could be seen. The net of golden light swayed and the bubbles flowed. The two crabs sat motionless unable to utter a word. Their father came out. What's the matter you're trembling? Dad something strange came. What kind of thing? It was bluish and shining. Its tip was as sharp and black as this. When it came the fish went up. Was its eye red? I don't know. I see. Well that's a bird. It's called Kawasemi Kingfisher. Don't worry it's safe. We don't have anything to do with it. Dad where did the fish go? The fish it went to a dangerous place. It's scary dad. It's alright don't worry. Look birch flowers are flowing. See how beautiful they are. Along with the bubbles white birch petals slid down from the ceiling. It's scary dad. The younger crab also said. The net of light swayed expanded contracted and the shadow of the flower petals silently slid on the sand. December. The young crabs had grown considerably and the view at the bottom had completely changed between summer and autumn. Smooth white pebbles rolled by small cone-shaped grains of quartz and fragments of mica floated along and settled. The moonlight from a lemonade bottle filled the cold water's bottom. And the waves in the transparent ceiling flickered like blue flames creating a silent atmosphere. Only the sound of the waves echoed as if coming from a distant place. Because the moon was bright and the water was clear the crab children stayed outside not sleeping and quietly blew bubbles while looking up towards the sky. As expected my bubbles are big. 
Big brother you intentionally blow them bigger don't you I can blow even bigger bubbles if I try. Go ahead and blow. Oh that's all listen when big brother blows watch carefully. Look it's big right. Not really it's the same size. It looks bigger because it's closer. Let's blow together and see. Look. See my bubbles are still bigger. Really okay let me try one more time. No don't stretch it too much. Then their father the crab came out. You two stop fooling around. You're slow. Tomorrow I'll take you to Asado. Dad whose bubble is bigger. It's probably your big brother's. No it's not. Mine is bigger. The younger crab almost started crying. Just then, Tobin. A large black circle fell from the ceiling sinking for a moment before rising again. Its golden edges sparkled. It's a kingfisher, said the crab children shrinking their necks. Their father with eyes resembling binoculars examined it closely and then spoke. No that's not it. It's a Yamanashi. It's floating away. Let's follow it and see. Ah the scent is delightful. Indeed the moonlit water around was filled with the pleasant scent of Yamanashi. The three crabs followed the gentle flow of the Yamanashi. As they moved the three black silhouettes at the bottom danced forming six shadows chasing the circular shadow of the Yamanashi. Soon the water murmured and the waves in the ceiling grew increasingly blue resembling flames. The Yamanashi rested entangled in the branches of a tree with moonlit rainbows gathering above it. What do you think it's really the Yamanashi? It's perfectly ripe and has a delightful scent right? It looks delicious dad. Wait just two more days and it will sink down. Then delicious sake will be made naturally. Now let's go back and sleep. Come on. The parent and child crabs returned to their burrow. The waves continued to flicker with blue flames as if they were sprinkling diamond powder. My blue lantern ends here.